Logic Pro for iPad 2 added two new session players and revamped the already existing drummer. All three of these virtual bandmates use AI to dynamically adapt to other tracks in your project. In this video, I'll take a closer look at how the session bass player works and share some interesting things you can do with it in your projects. You access the session bass player by tapping on this drop down menu and selecting bass player from the three session players available. A session player region will be created automatically for you. If it hasn't opened by default, tap the editor button to open the editor window. Here's where you can edit your bass player's performance. If there wasn't one already present, a global chord track will also be created and your bass player will follow it. For more info on how to work with the Global Chords track, click the wee thing that's up here now. Up here? Uh, up there somewhere. There are eight different bass styles to choose from in four different genres. Like all session players, there are complexity and intensity sliders here, which change the feel of your bass player's performance. There are also fill amount, fill complexity and swing controls on the right. In the main tab, you can select from different patterns. How many will depend on which bass style you have selected. Retro Rock has four patterns, for example. While Disco Slap has six. Just like the drummer, you can have your bass pattern follow the rhythm of your project's chord track, or you can choose another track in your project for it to follow instead. You could choose how elaborate the melody your bass player performs is here, from playing only root notes up to most notes. You can select how many octave jumps they will perform. And adjust the phrasing of the performance from short to long. You can set the lowest note your bass player will play using this slider. Over on the Details tab, you can control how many dead notes and slides your bass player will perform.
plus you can add pickup hits and dynamic muting. And you can choose whether or not to have the bass player choose closer intervals for root notes with the Align Root button. Note that all of these options aren't available to all bass styles though. Again, just like the drummer, you can drag the feel knob up to have the session bass player play ahead of the beat or down to play behind the beat. The dynamics knob adjusts the range of volumes your bass player will play. You can adjust the humanized knob to change how closely your bass player will follow the quantization of patterns. And you can adjust the tempo that your bass player plays at with the tempo options. The session bass player defaults to having the new studio bass instrument as its instrument plugin, but if you'd rather have a different instrument or third party instrument voice your pattern, it's really straightforward to swap that default instrument out. First open the plugins window, then tap and hold on the studio bass instrument plugin, then select replace from the menu. Next, select the instrument you want to replace it with. I'll bring in Moog's excellent bass focus synth, Mariana, here. Now when you hit play, your pattern will be performed by the instrument app you've brought in. And if you like what the session bass player has laid down, but would rather have a bit more fine control over the notes and velocity etc, you can convert your session bass player regions to MIDI. Tap on the region you want to convert, select convert from the menu, then select convert to MIDI. Now you'll be able to dive into the editor and fine tune your bass pattern even more. Let me know your thoughts on Logic Pro for iPad Session Bass Player down in the comments, and if you could give that like button a good hard slap on the way past, I really appreciate it, and it helps more people see this video. Apple also revamped one of Logic Pro for iPad's best features in this most recent update. 